sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, this is the prophetess of the Most Highest God, with a message given to me on the third, yeah, August the 3rd, 2024. This message is called Many shall suffer. Let us pray before I bring forth the message given unto me. Dear Holy Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious God, to thank you for your love, mercy, and grace, to thank you for another day of life you have blessed me and my children and my grandchildren and my son-in-laws with. Holy Spirit, I thank you and I praise and glorify your name because you are always with me no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father God, for everything you have done, going to do, and will be doing in my life. Bless my brethren all over the world that are called by your name and filled with your Holy Spirit and are getting themselves prepared to leave in this world. Thank you, Jesus. My beloved handmaiden, I am speaking to ye are ye listening? I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am he that is and was and is the Almighty God. I am he who has come in the flesh and I am coming again. My beloved sheep, ye have gone through so much in your lives, but things are coming to an end. I am sending my wrath upon this world soon, and I will let it go to do what I have sent it to do until all things have been fulfilled. I am the great I am, and I am bringing my judgment on this earth as I have spoken long ago I would do. Ye wicked and evil generation, ye shall suffer in the days and months and years to come. For I have spoken out to you all to repent, but ye did not want to heed to my voice. Now I have no choice but to stand down my judgments, not my indignation. But I shall bring forth my anger towards a godless world. I have spoken to my prophets and my handmaidens to warn ye all of what is coming and many choose to rebel against me so be it and my beloved ones shall come home to me and live a life of eternal bliss having me all the days of their eternal lives. Shalom, my bride and body, love Jesus Christ, the bridegroom. Time, 525. Grace. Five means grace. Brethren, so many things are happening this very day to let us know that Time is getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to going home. So I pray that all of you have made your hearts right with Jesus. For we do not know the day nor the hour, but we know that we are getting closer. Shalom, be blessed, and we are out of here. We'll see you in the air. Mwah. Also with the message. Found in Luke 13. 1 through 5. There were present at that season. Some that told him of the Galileans. Whose blood Pilate had mingled with his, their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. 
I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He is saying this to everyone today. Repent, 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 or ye shall likewise suffer and perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So the Lord is telling the whole world to repent, 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 or ye shall all likewise perish. The Lord does not want no one to perish, but come to everlasting repentance. But the world is not listening. We are out there telling the world about this exact thing, to repent, to give their lives to the Lord, but they are not listening. They are not listening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Their ears have been stopped by the enemy. The Lord says in Matthew, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. That's what he is doing. He's making us fishers of men. But they don't want to listen. The world does not want to listen. So all we can do is just pray for the lost sheep. That's all we can do. Pray for those who are blind, deaf, and have a hardened heart. Right here it says about suffering. Many are going to suffer through the tribulation. Many are going to suffer and wish they had listened to those who were speaking the truth. But it will be too late. We will be gone. And there will be no more truth sayers until the 144,000 Jewish witnesses and the two prophets that are going to speak will be left off. Shalom.
We are living in the last days, the last days that Jesus actually spoke about in Matthew 24, or aren't we? Well, we have to look at the signs of the times. Jesus Christ could be coming back today. He could be coming back at any minute. Jesus spoke of the signs of the last days. And one of the first signs that he gave was this. Jesus said in Matthew 24, verse 4 to verse 5, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ and will deceive many. That is one of the signs that Jesus spoke about of the last days. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The second sign that Jesus spoke about of the last days was wars and rumors of wars in Matthew 24, verse 6 and verse 7. And these are the things that we've actually uh, seen. The world has already gone through two world wars, World War I and World War II. The third world war is around the corner. Another sign that Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24, verse 7 is, and there will be famines. Jesus also mentioned pestilences there in Matthew 24 as being one of the signs of the last days. And just in case you did not know, since the year 2000, there have been more than 70 outbreaks. And those sicknesses, those viruses have killed millions and millions of people. And there are many more infectious diseases today than in any other time in the world. And the number is on the rise. Jesus also said that there would be earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Another sign that Jesus spoke about of the last days is this. He said in Matthew 24 verse 9, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. There is a great persecution coming. Another sign that Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24 verse 12 is this. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Notice what is going on today. Notice the riots and the chaos out in the streets. And the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 this, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. And that is what is happening today. People are calling evil good and good evil. Well, what is going on with all of this? Well, let me tell you what is going on. We are living in the last days. This is the last days. These are the signs of the times that Jesus spoke about. The coming of Christ is near. Are you ready? Are you ready for the coming of Christ? If you're not ready, you will be left behind. Are you living for Christ or for your own sinful and selfish desires? Well, if you're living for your own sinful and selfish desires, you need to know this. Listen to this. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9 through 10, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. You need to be ready for the coming of Christ because Christ is coming and we are living in the last days. It can happen at any moment. Jesus can come back at any moment. Do you know that the next event in God's calendar will be the rapture of the church? Because the church will not be going through the tribulation period. Are you ready for the soon return of Jesus Christ? That is a question that only you can answer. What are you doing with your life? What are your priorities in life? Are you living for Jesus Christ or not? Don't you know that we are living in the last days? The coming of Christ is drawing near. You need to be ready for the soon return of Jesus Christ. Jesus can come back at any moment. He can come back this year. Jesus can come back this month. He can come back this week. And He can come back today. But what if Jesus was to come right now?
No! 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 Where's everyone at? Where'd everyone go? Where's mom? Dad? Where's everyone? Mom? No. Dad? Not today. No. Dad? Mom? Where's what? mom? Dad? What? Where did they go? What happened? What? Mom? Mom? Dad? No. Where did they go? Why? Why are we now? Mom! Dad! Mom! Dad! <laughs>